All right, let's talk about how we're going to um, service and or you know replace any O-rings in the the hyper reg that's on the DSR plus. Um, it's actually a pretty easy easy thing to do. Um, and so one of the uh, kind of more difficult steps of this whole entire thing is is getting the the grips off. Um, but if you look at page twelve in Dice Manual. Uh, it has the really easy kind of walkthrough about how to get those grips off. There's two screws that are nicely nestled in both sides of the grip frame. Uh, you take those off and pop the grip off. Uh, and then also, if you want, um, you can, you know, pop this face off of, or this handle grip off of the front too. Um, but you don't really need to, to get to the, the, the Hyper 6 itself. Uh, so um, the Hyper 6 comes out in one singular piece. Um, if I can get the right Allen key here. There we go. Uh, and what's unique about really this setup, which I thought was is really um, ingenious of die, is that the the mounting screws are on the actual side of the grip frame. So we get those both those screws out, and and the Hyper Six should just pull right out like that. Super simple uh, to get that sucker out of there. Um, and then I'm just gonna discard this because this is gonna really be the the focus of what we're we're doing here. Um, so the Hyper Six, like I said, is is a pretty um, self-contained unit, uh, and so. If you are having leaks or you're having any issues or you're trying to take it apart and service it like the manual says, um, it, it's it's super simple to do. So you see in the top there, there is an Allen key um, spot. So we're going to take our Allen key and we're going to put it in there and just gently undo this until we can do it with our hands. And that's going to remove and give us our regulator spring right here. Our piston is nestled in there. So rule kind of number one slash don't ever break this rule when servicing a regulator. Don't grab these reg pistons with metal pliers. Um, because these reg pistons are sealing around the outside on an O-ring on the inside of here. Uh, and if you damage this, then it won't be able to seal anymore. And um, that's no fun for you because then you have to buy a new rig piston. Uh, so what you can do with this is just take this Allen key and push on the face of this rig piston, pop it out enough so that you can grab it with your fingers and just slowly work it out. And so that's going to expose the rig piston for you, uh, allow you to change the sewing if you need to. It is dynamic, so it's moving ever so slightly uh, as the pressure um, decreases, increases, etc. Um, and relube this. So this is one of the the service O rings, the O rings that you're going to need to to lubricate in the Hyper Six. Uh, this is an area that you need to lubricate in the Hyper Six, and in here is an area you need to lubricate. In the hyper six so then uh, we can also pull off this piece here to um, to work in and that we just get our kind of fingernail underneath where it splits between um, and and pull it off this is going to be where we're going to get access to our regulator seat um, so if we've got a damaged regulator seat or something like that we can we can access it within this, uh, and you can see that regular seat is right there. Um, to get those out, just grab it, pull it out. Usually if I'm gonna take a regulator seat out, um, I'm going to take and unscrew this piece here, and I'm gonna pull it out entirely. Um, since we don't really wanna mess with the operating pressure, uh, what this is currently set at, I'm not gonna gonna do that but there is an o-ring on the inside of this brass piece 
here that could leak, um, but rarely. If you're seeing a leak coming out of here, that could be one of the culprits um, that you'd want to address. But a lot of times when there's a rig issue, it's either this rig seat because it's got debris on it and gotten damaged uh, and it's causing problems, or um, this little O-ring in here. And again, dies made it super handy for you to get an O-ring pick in here ever so gently uh, and pop that, that O-ring out to replace. Now this is a dynamic O-ring as well. It's gonna get some friction and whatnot on it from this rig piston. So it's the thing that actually seals on this rig piston as it goes back and forth. So super simple rig design. Um, and honestly, I mean, there's nothing revolutionary going on here. Uh, this is basically the same rig design that you're going to see in almost every gun, uh, especially now, uh, the way that regulators are, are situated. And so, um, yeah, that's quick and, and dirty on how to, to take this part, uh, to service it, clean it up, um, and then you just go in reverse to pop it back in the gun. Really easy to do.